Now, following the Academic Staff Union of Universities' outcry over the reported half payment of the salaries by the federal government, the Labour Party has asked the federal government to wade into the latest concern raised by the union. Speaking with newsmen at the function in Abelkuta, the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Arabambi Abayomi, taxed the government to do the needful in order to rescue the dwindling education sector in the country. Other dignitaries of the function laid emphasis on the importance of education, especially in the society, as they charged politicians to play by the rules towards the forthcoming election in the country. The president needs to buckle up because he has a bunch of ministers that are fond of the executive rascality and malfeasance. There is no reason why you know these people went on strike for a justifiable reason. A government has not been obeying court order, you know, put it by force on the uh, also to obey the court order, and even after obeying the court order, what happened? They came back to say they are going to give them a salary. What are they doing that they want to give them a salary? These are people that were cheated. You refuse to own a simple agreement, and the court said, look, go back, come for negotiation. And they did just that, but you know, government is being clever by half. I would advise even the, for the sack of the, uh, the, the Minister of Labour, is a man that doesn't know how to pursue peace. You know, rather than violence, you know, and uh, <coughs> all manner, you know, of except rascality. They have no reason to pay the lecturers, you know, half salary. The minister now assembly, what are they doing? You see all of them sleeping, even the chamber. People that are growing up, uh, that, that are grooming our children, grooming our, the future of the country, are those now that are not, uh, you know, treating, you know, with levity. That is very, very the federal government should always honor their promises. Once they honor their promises, if there's an agreement between the government and the teachers, the lecturers, federal government should be up and coming. Once they do that, I don't think there will be any crisis at all. But it's because they are reneging on the agreement. That is why there's a problem. Education and is not making use of it. It's just like a man watering the field without seed. All what the man we have at the end is not an asset, is not an harvest, but an erosion of value. But if anyone have a transformation, information, knowledge, and education, and applies it, is like a man watering a field with seed. All what the man we have at the end is not an erosion of value, but a viable substance of harvest to his future and generation yet unborn. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.